Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Weichelt with EXP for another episode of Weichelt Wednesday. Super excited. I got my buddy Kelvin on. Uh, he runs our REO department. He's doing a great job for us at EXP. So with that being said, let's just dive in. Who's uh, who's Ke Kelvin uh, Zelaya? Hey, Robert, thank you for having me here and thank you for everybody that's listening. Uh, yeah, so my background, uh, a little bit of my about myself is I became a real estate broker in the state of California back in 2003. Uh, my brother and I had a real estate and mortgage company and uh, we were doing well, you know, during right around 2003. That's when the big boom was happening. And right around the end of 2007, when we were partying and doing our holiday stuff, uh, we started noticing, hey, you know, it's the usual slowdown. And then 2007 kicked in and nothing ever picked up, right? And we were like, hey, what's going on here? And uh, the early, you know, usually it picks up around uh, early January and then never really picked up. January came and went and we're like, we hardly had any closings for both our departments. And we're like, what the heck's going on? February came. We I think we had like one closing. And then all of a sudden we're like, uh oh, there's something uh, fishy going on in the market. And, uh, you know, we ended up uh, closing doors because, you know, we, we didn't have too much and, you know, just everything was just going down. And this is when credit was locking up and uh, there, it really hadn't hit Main Street at this point, but everybody started to feel it. So in June of 2007, I went and uh, my uh, initial thought was, hey, I'm going to go learn how to become an REO asset manager. And my initial goal was be there six months and after six months, take off and go be an uh, agent, right? But I stayed there till uh, January, Jan February of 2022. So this year, as an asset manager, I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of uh, new stuff going on. I went to AMC Mortgage Services. AMC Mortgage, which is uh, AmeriQuest. So they got bought out by City Residential. I was there for a little over a year. Then I got recruited to go to Fannie Mae and then I, and also at um, EMC Mortgage, which was Bear Stearns, which was in the process of failing, but nobody really knew it. And uh, I got an offer from both of them and I try to use the offer for my benefit. And Fannie Mae said, well, if you have a better offer than Fannie Mae, you take it. And at the time I did have the offer. It just They just didn't believe me. So I went uh, to EMC Mortgage. But as I was going and accepting to EMC Mortgage, they were getting bought out by JP Morgan Chase. So uh, I went to work for them. So I got hired at EMC Mortgage, but I started at JP Morgan Chase. And uh, when I was actually, funny story is when I was doing my initial packet, you know, a review of my benefits, all of a sudden, everybody from HR started surrounding me. And I started looking around like, what's going on? Like, why are they all surrounding me? And they looked at down and they said, oh, well, the reason we're all around you is you're the first hire for JP Morgan Chase because we don't even know what the benefits packages are, but you have it in front of us. So we want to see what kind of benefits we're getting. Okay. So that was kind of cool. So I was one of the first, uh, you know, they went from EMC to JP Morgan Chase. And then uh, a lot of my friends went to work at uh, Fannie Mae and they were telling me how great and fantastic Fannie Mae was. So about a year later, I uh, they opened up another positions, uh, a few positions at Fannie Mae and I applied and uh, I got, you know, went into Fannie Mae and, um, November of uh, 2009. So, and I was there until January of 2018. And then after that, <clears throat> they said that they were going to move operations to Dallas and that I could either move with them or I could just uh, not have a job anymore. And at that point, it wasn't in the cards to move to Dallas. So I said no and uh, I got laid off. But then I had, you know, some networks and I got into Showpoint Mortgage Servicing out of um, Houston. And then after that, uh, I met Don through a friend of mine, uh, Marguerite Crispillo. She's uh, in uh, Sacramento, and she introduced me to Don. Don and I, you know, got got along really well. And uh, it was I ended up actually working with Don a little bit when I was an asset manager. And then she started uh, heavily recruiting me, wanted me to come over, and uh, you know, and finally uh, in February of this year, 2022, I started here at EXP. So. And I've been managing the REO department here at EXP. So it's been wow. uh, a great learning experience and, uh, you know, just uh, getting to the agent side of it again. And it's been a while, but, you know, getting the hang of it and getting everything, you know, uh, going. So, well, you know what, you've, you've got a, a very, very robust resume when it comes to the REO space. Wow. And that's a, that's quite a background. I mean, yeah. Fannie Mae just by itself. Uh, I mean that's a that's a player. Everybody knows who Fannie Mae is, and that's 
That's wonderful. I mean, so you come with a lot of background. Now you're you're the asset manager for EXP, and we do a lot of trainings and certifications for our agents. And it's just uh, last most recently in uh, EXP Con, we we're in a room full of mm-hmm. thousands of agents, and it was just electrifying. Everybody's fired up, and it was a great class. We had a great great content, and I even won this. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you Lincoln. for all your help. Uh, and I have yeah, it you- right on my desk because it reminds me of of that, what a what an honor that was. And I was just so excited to be just be a part of it. I'm so excited to help you uh, with the trainings and the certification. And uh, that's awesome. So we've got a lot of stuff cooking at EXP. Mm-hmm. So let's dive right into it. You know, share some of the features and benefits, some of the, the tools that you're using and preparing and getting out to the agents. Uh, why don't you introduce some of those things to us? Absolutely. So at EXPCon 2022, which happened in, I believe it was October, right? October mm-hmm. of this year, mm-hmm. uh, they announced Revenos and Revenos is our uh, buyer and seller referral engine that we uh, now introduced. And as part of that, we have a few business units um, that are under it, such as REO. And then we also have Relocation Affinity. Uh, making it rain and express offers, all that fall under the whole umbrella of revenues. And uh, that's the name they came up with. And, um, you know, we're really excited because it's, uh, it got branded and, you know, announced at EXPCon. And what we try to do is we try to establish uh, global strategic relationships with other companies. And uh, we do this to be able to provide our EXP agents referrals. And uh, alongside of that, you help with the training that we do for REO certification training. So we have REO certification training and that's provided to our EXP agents. We also provide relocation certification training for you know companies that relocate employees and affinity. Most people don't know what affinity is, but affinity is a business unit that um, not everybody moves from a company, but uh, as relocated, you know, from one state to another or another city to another, but they each company about 10% of the people buy and purchase in a year. So we're trying to recover that business. So we give them a benefit. Hey, if you guys use, you tell them, Hey, if you guys have a, you know, employees that are wanting to purchase, if they use EXP, we'll give them a referral fee, uh, to you and also a, um, uh, concession to the buyer to be use our benefits so that makes it great and then we all also have a referral engine of ex uh, making it rain making it rain uh, they take over your our kv core and they manage your um uh uh, it's not um they manage your gl- social media and then they get fees i'm sorry uh they get a uh, what's called leads. And then those leads get passed over to you and that's a monthly fee. And then the other one is our iBuyer program, which we call, um, goodness, Express Offers. And Express Offers also has some strategic relationships with some investors who are also looking to uh, provide leads to us. So we have a great, robust department here. Uh, We're generating leads. I think we've generated over 5,000 referrals um, in this year. So that's a lot of leads that we give uh, to our agents and making sure that they're, you know, keeping busy throughout the whole years. So, Well, you know what? You've just covered Uh, so much stuff. I mean, so much stuff from REO, from getting, you know, that that business ramped up. Uh, I look at them all as different click funnels for business. Agents I talk to all the time across the country, and the most common thing, what's lacking in their business is leads. And it sounds like we've got that covered with REO, with Relo, with Affinity, making it rain, and Express Offers. There are so many opportunities to really take your business to the next level and up your production. So that sounds like you guys are... Just, I mean, 5,000 leads already given out. That That's a huge number. That's yes. a really, really big number. And initially when we started the year, I think uh, the initial number given, it was a projection of 2,700, but that was just to be on the safe side. And we far exceeded that and been able to read over, uh, reach over 5,000 referrals this year. And it continues to grow. I mean, we are making these great relationships uh, with our partners and uh, they're just providing us leads. And right, we have a partner who has actually uh, been one of our biggest uh, advocates. And uh, we just recently had a meeting with them and they were telling them how fantastic our agents are doing. And they're keeping, uh, they want to give us more. So we definitely need uh, agents that are going to be able to join us so they can help us out. You know, not every single area, we, we have over 84, 85,000 agents plus, and we not every single area is covered. So we definitely need agents in different areas to be able to provide that coverage for us and be able to provide leads to them. 
Well, this certainly answers the question, where do I find leads? This, this basically puts a, an ex explanation point at the end of that question saying, you can find your leads here. So this is great. And you're helping our agents grow. It's a real thing. You blew past your goal of 2,700, hit 5,000. And I'm sure we're going to do much more than that this year. So man, Kelvin, I tell you this, we've got a lot of stuff cooking here at eXp. Uh, in closing, where do you see, uh, where do you see the market going uh, the next few years? If you had a crystal ball, where, where do you think it's going? And you know what? I wish I had that crystal ball because then I'd probably be uh, better off. Than <laughs> but, uh, <yeah. clears throat> but the foreclosures, uh, we're starting to see an increase. Uh, the last few years from 2020, when we had this thing called the pandemic, we had a lot of moratoriums and things that slowed down the whole business aspect of it. And that moratorium uh, really slowed down the ability to foreclose on a pro entity or a, per or a person and the ability to evict them as well. But now all that has most of it been lifted in most parts of the country. And we're starting to see, you know, increases. So, for example, in November 2022, we had a total of 30,677 U.S. properties with foreclosure filings. These are properties that either went into in some type of uh, foreclosure filing that they have a notice of default or a notice of sale or anything like that. That's a 57% year over year increase. Uh, and it's down from October of 2022 by 5%. So that means that we're starting to see the activity happen in the foreclosure market. And that's about one in 4,580 homes that have a foreclosure filing in the United States. So wow. other statistics, uh, some states with the highest foreclosure rates is Illinois, and one in 2,401, uh, Delaware, one in 2,736, New Jersey, one in 2,916, and South Carolina, one in 3,195, and Wyoming, 3,237. <clears throat> wow, there's, there's some numbers so, right there. Yeah, so the numbers are increasing. We're starting to see this. Uh, we're continuing to build those strategic relationships with uh, companies to make sure that, hey, let them know we have excellent uh, EXP REO certified agents. And that's something that you help me with. And we appreciate that because they get real life experience from the asset manager side, which was me, and also from you, the agent side. And I was an agent as well. So I understand the whole process. And we try to put it together for our agents as to what the expectations are and what they need to do and how they need to do it. And you get real life experience from you and your toolbox that you always bring up of things that they need to do in order to be a successful REO agent. So, and we teach them that here and we do that with all our certification classes, whether it's for relocation, because I don't know if any people have heard there's BMAs such as BPOs you have in REO, we have BMAs in um, the relocation and we teach you how to be successful and uh, teach you how to be engaged and learn how to do these so that you look awesome in front of the clients and they want to continue to use you. So, well, you know what? And I, we certainly appreciate that support. Um, what would you like to say in closing? Is there any other uh, remarks that you'd like to bring up industry remarks, anything you'd like to add before we finish this call? Uh, the only last thing is that uh, we're expecting business to get uh, increase uh, right now. You know, we're, we started doing really well in the last three months. Our business has increased almost threefold. Um, and then this is a continuing trend that we continue to see with our business partners. So, you know, if, if you are not doing that at your current brokerage or you need a place where you want to grow, this is a great place to come and a great place for you to grow. So. Amen. Well said, my friend. Well, here you heard it first. Uh, Kelvin Zalaya, I tell you, you are a pleasure to be up on stage with. You're very knowledgeable. And uh, I just encourage everybody watching this to reach out to us and uh, see how we can take your business to the next level in 23 and beyond. This is Robert Weikelt for my good buddy, Zelvin. Uh, that's, did everyone call you Zelvin at all? <laughs> People I, mix it up every now yeah, and then. <laughs> yeah. Kelvin, I appreciate you uh, being on, buddy. You're, you are a, a breath of fresh air. Your knowledge, your experience, your dedication is unmatched, man. I appreciate you. And I wish you happy holidays, my friend. Appreciate you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.